I think we're at an unfortunate turning point for current law. Um, the best law, in my view, is one that is technology neutral. And we're seeing time again with new legal developments, law that's not technology neutral and is going to have undesirable and presently uncalculable effects on new technologies that we want to use. Um, for many years in Italy, for example, um, the, the law relating to passwords was specific. It would say you'd have to have eight character passwords. And I think it's slightly odd uh, that the law would be so detailed as to be over a particular password length. Now, that law's been repealed. But in new law, uh, for example, in the financial services arena, we have laws relating to strong authentication about how you access your online services, and it's very specific about how it must be done, the way the passwords work, the security that's used, even um, the checks you need to make of your mobile device to see if it's been routed or not. It just seems crazy to be so specific about today's technology. We want that, those laws to last us for five or ten years. Lawmakers cannot uh, keep up with the speed of innovation, nor would they be expected to. So I think their approach is probably wrong, and uh, it would be better uh, if, if we can go to a more neutral presentation uh, when they write the laws that we need. The trick is, is really better lobbying by companies, both now, of course, in the UK and in Europe. Post-Brexit, we'll need to look uh, harder in terms of our own laws uh, for, for lobbying to really educate the legislators about their uh, understanding technology and help persuade them that they should take a light touch and principles-based approach. Uh, both in cybersecurity and for other technologies, uh, you know, we've seen some kind of crazy examples. Uh, we've seen laws that regulate cookies, so we've had those banners on websites. Uh, it seems odd that a lawmaker would require you to have a banner on a website about a cookie, when there's a, a thousand other ways to track individuals uh, using browsers rather well than just cookies, so that seems very odd. Um, it seems odd uh, in cybersecurity that they are becoming extreme prescriptive in relation to breach notification and the levels of security that can be used. And some of the latest financial services uh, laws um, uh, around the uh, Payment Services Directive, there's now a requirement to notify within two hours for the most serious breaches. Just don't think it's practicable for people to understand the situation and to notify a regulator in such a short period of time. Now, there is no better time. And actually, with this uncomping European law, the General Data Protection Regulation, this is a perfect driver for this. No better time. Uh, for you to get in contact with your general counsel, uh, to get in contact with your CRO, and to have an open dialogue about these laws that are coming, how it will impact your business, who is responsible for that, and what organisational change that might be best placed to make sure that you can respond in a cost-efficient fashion as a corporate and look after your customers.